Hi, this is Kevin Tharp, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, embedding a um, YouTube channel report in uh, Google Data Studio into a WordPress blog. Uh, so this week in my classes, I am te in my analytics class, I'm te teaching about metrics, key performance indicators, and reports. So this goes to the report. So in this class, you would have already created a YouTube channel data report, which is this report here. So this is in Google Data Studio, and it is a YouTube channel report for the videos that my students have been posting for this class. Uh, so while this video is intended for my students, it is probably going to be useful for other people. So I'll make it available to the world. So what we're starting with is we've got this report, but we want to add it into, in this case, it is a, uh, a blog post that I am making about uh, the Data Studio reports. So what I want to do is I want to figure out how to embed this. I don't just want to make a link. I want this to be a live report inside of the blog post that I'm doing. You can do this in pages or pretty much anywhere where you're uh, working with the HTML, creating a web page. Uh, so that's not as important as uh, um, where it's going is not important as the process of doing it because they're all going to be reasonably similar happens to be we're working with wordpress so when i'm at my report i need to go to the edit i want to make sure i'm in the edit tab not the view tab uh, because that gives me access to the controls for uh, controlling the way that my um, page is able to Form. So I'm going into file. And again, this is after I've already created the, the report. Uh, I got to go to share first because I need to uh, manage access so that anyone with the link can view the page. Now, I'm not going to copy that report right now, uh, but uh, I set that. I'll change it and then I'll change it back so that you can see that you got to save it. Anyone with the link can view. So I'm going to click that and uh, I would choose save if I had actually made a change, uh, close that. And then what I want to do is I want to come in here to file and I want to choose embed report. And I need to make sure that there's a check mark in this enable editing uh, location. So I put a check mark there and then I want to grab the embed code and I'll copy that to my clipboard. So I've got that code ready to go. Then I go to the location in my blog where I'm wanting to add this uh, particular report. And I've already got some information in there. What I'm doing is I'm going to add a block right now. And naturally, my face gets in the way. Uh, I want to use a custom HTML. Now, if you can't see that, you can type custom HTML and bring it up in that way. The only reason it was visible is because I practiced this a few minutes ago. Uh, so when I come in here then, uh, what it's gonna do is it's gonna give me a location where I can write the HTML. I'm just gonna take that code that I copied from the report and I'm going to paste it in there. Um, and then when I click on preview, it's going to import that uh, that report into my page. Now, let me show you what does not work uh, just because it's uh, something that should work but doesn't. So if I went over to the, the block choice, so this is using the block editor in WordPress. Um, down in this embed area, so I scroll down to embed, there's different types of pre-formatted embed elements. Well, the the Google Data Studio is not one of those. Uh, so I could choose this embed code, but for whatever reason, if I try to do that with this particular report, it says it can't do it. And I'm not sure why. I suspect it's because this is pulling live data from uh, Data Studio. So it's pulling data into the report and then pulling the report into uh, the uh the website so you cannot use that one i would think that normally you would be able to uh, post anything in there but and we get around that by using the html 
um, custom HTML tag and it works just fine. So uh, I go back to preview that allows me to see the video. And then um, when I publish that, you'll you'll see that you can actually interact with this um, data the way that the way that you should be able to. It's behaving a little wonky. There we go. Uh, so you can go in, you can change the date range, uh, anything that you would normally do with this report out on the YouTube channel if it were in the view mode. So uh, the view mode is what allows you to see what is in the report. The edit allows you to change the report. So whenever you're sharing it, you want to make sure that you're sharing the view, not the edit, because you do have the ability to share uh, the, the edit screen as well. And if somebody doesn't have permission, then that's not going to work. But you'll notice that this report is the same one that is shown up in my blog. And um, so then all I really need to do is go in, finish up my blog post and publish it. Got to make sure you publish it uh, and it will be ready to go. So that's all I've got for you now. Uh, thank you very much. And I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.